Hello class. Today, we are going to go over, experiment 4, which is, Charles Law and the Ideal Gas Law. Let's get started. So, have you found out, the learning outcome for this experiment? By referring to our lab manual, the first one is, to verify the Charles Law. While the second one is, to determine the molar mass of an unknown, volatile liquid. Did you get it? Now let us proceed with the theoretical background for the part, A, of the experiment. According to Charles' law, the volume of a fixed mass of a given gas, is directly proportional, to its absolute temperature, at constant pressure. The Charles' law, can also be written, as shown in the formula here. In this graph, it clearly shows that, the volume of a gas, is increased with temperature. And, if we, extrapolate, the graph, the line will eventually, intercept, the x-axis. Theoretically, at this point, the value should be, negative 273.15 degree, which is the absolute zero temperature. Now, let us go over, all the chemicals, and the apparatus, for the part, A, of this experiment. For the chemicals, we need, ice, and methanol. While, for the apparatus, we're gonna need, rubber band, thermometer, ruler, glass tube, and 250 milliliters, measuring cylinder. Okay, I am going to be away for a bit. My colleague, will take over for the procedures, and demonstration. I will see you again in part, B, of this experiment. In order to carry out part A, we need just no apparatus. Most of the time, is already constructed, like this. However guys, if it is not, no problem at all. We can always prepare ourselves. We need thermometer, ruler, glass tube, and rubber band. Glass tube consists of a capillary tube with a movable mercury plug. This is the mercury plug. And this is the seal end. Gas is trapped between the mercury plug and the seal end. Aha! Uh -huh. Make sure the mercury plug does not split into small droplets. Please inform your instructor if you notice anything unusual. Begin! Tie a thermometer and a glass tube to a ruler by using a rubber band. Place the seal end at the bottom. Don't forget, align the end of the gas column with the zero mark of the ruler. Place the bulb of thermometer approximately halfway up the column of trapped gas. Okay, done! Place the charge law apparatus inside 250 ml measuring cylinder. Fill the measuring cylinder with tap water until the gas column inside the tube is totally immersed. Leave for 5 minutes. This is to ensure that 
the temperature of the trapped gas equals to the surrounding which is the tap water. Record the temperature. And measure the height of the gas column. The height of the gas column is measured from the seal end to the bottom of the mercury plug. By using the same Charles Law apparatus, repeat step 2 to 4, replace the tap water with warm water with a temperature between 40 to 50 degrees Celsius, a mixture of ice and water, a mixture of ice and 5 ml of methanol. Don't forget to wash and rinse the charge law apparatus every time before use. Tabulate the data in Table 1. Temperature is recorded in degrees Celsius and next we need the volume. How do we obtain the volume from the height of gas column? By assuming the cross-sectional area of gas column is constant, the volume of gas column is directly proportional to its height. Therefore, the height of the gas column can be used to represent its volume in this experiment. Hello there, do you miss me? I bet you do. Now let's go over the theoretical background for part B. Charles Law states, volume of a gas is directly proportional to its absolute temperature at constant pressure. While, for Boyle's law, the volume of a gas is inversely proportional to its pressure at constant temperature. In Avogadro's principle, all gases of equal volume will contain the same number of molecules at constant temperature and pressure. And lastly, all these three law can be combined and written into new expression called the ideal gas equation. Now, let us look into details at the ideal gas equation. PV equals nRT. In ideal gas equation, P stands for gas pressure, while V stands for volume occupied by gas. Next is N, which is moles of gas. R is the ideal gas constant. And the last one, T, is the absolute temperature of the gas. Now, let us look into the chemical and apparatus for part B of this experiment. For chemical, we only need to look for a reagent bottle labeled unknown liquid, while for apparatus, we need a needle, wire gauze, tripod stand, rubber band, thermometer, Bunsen burner, aluminium foil, beaker, analytical balance, conical flask, measuring cylinder, and lastly, retort stand with its clamp. Let's continue with part B. First, we need a 100 ml conical flask, aluminium foil, rubber band, and a needle. Cover the conical flask with a piece of aluminium foil. Tie the foil loosely around the neck with a rubber band. Prick a tiny hole in the middle of the foil by using a needle. As the unknown liquid vaporizes, it will displace the air inside the flask. When the unknown liquid completely vaporizes, the flask is filled with just the gas from unknown liquid. The gas pressure inside the flask 
is seen as the atmospheric pressure. Weigh the apparatus accurately by using an electrical balance. Remove the foil. Place 5 ml of the unknown liquid into the flask. Cover the flask and tie it back using a rubber bag. Light up the Bunsen burner. Heat the water until all of the unknown liquid in the flask is vaporized. When all the unknown liquid has vaporized, record the temperature of the water bath by using a thermometer. Take out the glass immediately by using the clamp. Turn off the Bunsen burner. Allow the flask to cool to room temperature. Wipe the outer wall of the flask and the aluminum foil. Now, the unknown gas has condensed to liquid. Weigh the flask with the aluminum foil, rubber band, and the condensed unknown liquid. Discard both the foil and the condensed liquid. Fill the flask up to the brim with water. Record the volume of water. This is also the volume occupied by the unknown gas. Tabulate all data in table 2. Ha! <sighs> Experiment is done. You can now calculate the molar mass of the unknown liquid by using ideal gas equation. See you again!